Welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. And once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for those who've been supporting us to this date. And for those who've not subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel because that is the only way we get you supporters. So there is a tweet that Miguna Miguna uh, posted uh, in his Twitter handle. And this tweet, I'd like to read it to you. This is what Miguna Miguna said. Patriots, I'll be arriving on the KQ flight at 6 a.m. Terminal 1. Cheers. <laughs> That's what Miguna Miguna posted at around 7 a.m. in the morning. I'll be arriving on the KQ flight at 6 a.m. Terminal 1. Cheers. What do you think that statement means? It can only mean that Miguna Miguna is trying to tell the people that he is scheduled to arrive here in Kenya on a KQ flight that is destined to arrive at 6 a.m. What does that mean to, the, to Raila Amolo Odinga's political career? Does it mean anything? If you ask me, I'll tell you it means nothing. I know that Miguna Miguna still thinks that he will arrive here in Kenya to arousing welcome, to arousing to a cheers, to a cheerful welcome, like the way it was in 2017. I think things have changed. That is what Miguna Miguna does not understand. When Miguna Miguna left the country, he was still under the umbrella of Raila Molodinga. So he still had some, you know, handful of followers. But the moment Muguna Miguna left camp and started fighting Raila Molodinga, then those people who used to champion him, who used to clap for him, automatically left him. That is the realization that Miguna Miguna does not have to date. Miguna Miguna might arrive in Kenya, but he should know that he has enemies both in Kenya Kwanzaa and he has enemies in Azimio on Kenya lands. But I know that Miguna Miguna is going to be weaponized to fight Raila Molo Odinga so that in 2027, should Raila Molo Odinga opt to vie for a last time, Miguna will be there to fight him tooth and nail to make sure that he does not ascend to power. Mind you, the Kenya Kwanza government knows very well that whatever Mutainguni has been saying that William Samoy Ruto did not win this election, but Raila Molo Dinga lost the election. If that statement is to be interpreted in any way, you by now should have an understanding that maybe this election result was forced on an individual. The results was, was, could have been doctored. That is what uh, Mutai Ngonyi kept referring to. Election was not won, but election could have been rigged. That is what Mutai Ngonyi has been posting. So the Kenya Kwanza government is not taking that tweet lightly. From Mutai, is not taking that tweet from Mutai Nguni lightly. So that is the reason why you find that most of the time the Kenya Kwanza government has been crafting ways of making sure that Raila Molodinga's political career ends and their future, you know, starts to rise. So William Samuel Tru is looking at beyond 2027. Looking at beyond 2032, probably William Samuel is looking at an eternity kind of rule for the UDA party, like the Kanu rule for you know more than 30 years. So I think that is what uh, the UDA is trying to craft, so that they can rule for you know at least 30 years. So that if should William Samuel rule for 10 years, then Rigathi Gachagua will rule for 10 years then another person will inherit the presidency and for another 10 years, that makes it 30 years. Should 2027 calculations go against the UDA, then so, so that uh, arrangement might not be realized. That means should 2027 play in favor of Raila Molo Dinga and that should the Trump fear that William Samoruto has, you know, in US for the first time, a president rule for one term. So should that be the case with the with the, the Kenya Kwanza government, then then that plan of ruling for forever might not be realized. So so Miguna Miguna is being brought into focus 
to fight Raila Molo Dinga's uh, future. Because when you saw what you saw Raila Molo Dinga during that Jivanji uh, unveil, when he said that he has not given up, that was sent a lot of shockwaves to the Kenya Kwanza uh, government because that meant that he's still in the race and that he has learned the mistake that they made and that in 2027 they're likely to come up with a different different approach and mind you eight million voters did not vote so that's the reason why the kenya Kwanza government cannot be happy they have to look at ways of surviving in 2027 because should this eight million voters decide to vote what is likely to happen they elected to divide these votes among themselves maybe three million might go to uh, to William Samoy Ruto, and 5 million might go to, you know, or 4 million might go to uh, Raila Molo Dinga. So the 1 million we might be divided amongst, you know, uh, Wajakoya or any other presidential aspirant. So should that be the, the, the case, then definitely Raila Molo Dinga will win for that election. So that's the reason why William Samoy Ruto is not sleeping. He's crafting ways of making sure that in 2027, they survive a second round. So the arrival of Miguna in Kenya is something that the Kenya Kwanza team wants so much. Now that the Kenya Kwanza has tested power, they will want to craft any way to make sure they still retain that power for you know at least 30 years. So the biggest task is to make sure that in 2027, should Raila Molodinga decide to Vi again, then that does not become successful. That is the biggest task of the Kenya Kwanza government. And I think should they achieve that objective, then I think that will be the end of Raila Amolo Odinga's political career. So the question that I'd like to ask myself, and I believe you have that question, do you think there are chances that Miguna Miguna will work with the Kenya Kwanza government. If you ask me, and considering the history of Miguna Miguna, I think Miguna Miguna's return to Kenya is one of President William Samoy Ruto's undoing. That is the biggest mistake that William Samoy Ruto is committing. Allowing Miguna Miguna to come back to, the, to, to Kenya is the biggest, biggest mistake. Because when he thinks that Miguna Miguna will fight Raila Molodinga, Miguna Miguna might decide to be ambitious again and say now, since the Kenya Kwanza government is not delivering, I would like to fight them so that I can get political relevancy, political mileage. Because should Miguna Miguna decide to support William Samuel to 150% in matters of policies, then Miguna Miguna will suffer a huge rebellion from the Nyanza uh, community, even for, from coast. It is true that uh, Raila Molodinga has a very, very huge falling in those areas. So Miguna Miguna can come to Kenya because he's a Kenyan, but he should not expect to receive a rosy welcome the way he received in 2017. That is not going to be the case. That happened because he was under Raila Molodinga's wing. But this same round, him being under William Samuel Ruto's wing does not, does not make him you know, that's not making Kenyans favorite. He'll come back, but the people know him as someone who is full of, you know, propaganda. He will not get the support that he thinks he intends to get. And William Samoy Ruto thinks that Miguna Miguna will get the Nyanza block under his wing so that in 2027, he can use Miguna Miguna, Miguna for his campaign as a weapon, you know, as a weapon to finish Raila Molodinga's political career and probably send Raila Molodinga to Bondo. That is not going to be the case. I, as a Kenyan citizen, know that that's not going to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, kindly allow me to wind up there, but please you can share what you think about this Miguna Miguna return. And you can also, you know, subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed before. And once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for those who have been supporting our channel to this level and I would like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we meet again for another.